gigantic, mysterious, and beautiful, with its unimaginably large dimensions and its countless formations. The universe has captivated mankind for thousands of years. Who knows what mysteries lie dormant in the most remote corners of the universe? Or what cosmic riddles lurk practically right on our earthly doorstep? From simple telescopes to unmanned space probes, to complex space telescopes, technological progress has allowed us to erase more and more blank spots from the star charts. As is well known, the main focus of the astronomical research world is currently on the use of a revolutionary piece of equipment, the James Webb Telescope. In the coming years, Webb's mission is expected to help elevate our understanding of the cosmos to unimagined heights. The spectacular images of Jupiter, recently captured by the most powerful space telescope in history, prove that deciphering the universe goes far beyond the study of ancient galaxies and stars. But what insights can be drawn from the gas giant's breathtaking imagery? What secrets does the king of our planetary system still hold? Together with you, we are looking for answers today. Would you like to learn more about the groundbreaking discoveries and the fascinating spectacles in the cosmos on a regular basis? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space and click the bell to stay up to date from now on. By giving us a thumbs up, you're motivating us and showing that we can keep you engaged with the content of our videos. A new age. Generally speaking, it is not always easy to date the beginning of the future exactly. However, things are somewhat different in the field of astronomy. December 25th, 2021, for example, embodies that point in time when a new chapter in modern space exploration was open. Since the James Webb Space Telescope left our blue home planet and reached its target orbit 900,000 miles away, a lot has happened. Already the first Webb images which were presented to the interested public on July 11th and 12th of this year, impressively demonstrated the unrivaled performance of the instrument. Developed as a joint project of NASA, ESA, and CSA, Webb was designed specifically for infrared astronomy. This means that the $10 billion telescope is capable of working from the red part of visible light to the mid-infrared spectrum. Among other things, this will allow Webb to target the first luminous galaxies and formations born after the Big Bang and subsequent Dark Ages. Furthermore, Webb will study the structure-forming processes of the cosmos during his mission. Analyses of galaxies, stars, planets, black holes, and protoplanetary disks are also among the main scientific tasks the Space Telescope will address in the coming years. Although Webb has been in space for less than a year, it has already sparked a staggering policy debate among experts. According to the report, some of the images would provide evidence that the Big Bang theory is wrong. When and how the scientific discussion about this topic will end is still in the stars at present. What we do know, however, is that Webb also recently gave us a completely new insight into a cosmic world that we have long known about, namely that of mighty Jupiter. King of the planets. Big, bigger, Jupiter. No other planet in the solar system reaches the overwhelming dimensions of the gigantic gas giant. In theory, our Earth would fit more than 1,300 times inside the planetary colossus. The bottom line is that Jupiter is about 2.5 times as massive as all the other planets in our home system combined. As the official designation gas planet already reveals, however, the celestial body has no solid surface. The only solid component that the gas giant possesses is its presumed core, which consists of rock and ice and exceeds the mass of our Earth by a factor of 20. However, while the existence of the solid planetary heart has yet to be confirmed, the presence of the differently colored bands, clouds, and vortices is obvious to everyone. Basically, experts distinguish between two categories in Jupiter's atmosphere, the lighter colored zones and the darker belts. Compared with the belts, the zones present themselves clearly cooler and denser because we encounter rising gases here. Presumably, the contained ammonia ice is responsible for the lighter coloring. However, it's not exactly clear why the belts are darker. Experts assume that they contain sulfur, phosphorus, 
and possibly hydrocarbons. That the gas giant with a diameter of 89,000 miles does not travel alone through space has been known for several centuries. Jupiter's four largest and best-known companions, the Galilean moons, were added to the star charts as early as 1610. Meanwhile, we know that the Colossus counts at least 79 natural satellites as companions. Thanks to the deployment of numerous unmanned space probes, it is also known that Jupiter repeatedly becomes the scene of brute weather phenomena. First and foremost is the Great Red Spot, a strikingly long-lived storm system that is currently about 1.5 Earth diameters in size. Colossus in New Light Thanks to the revolutionary near-cam of the James Webb Telescope, we can now marvel at this and other phenomena in a completely new light. The impressive Jupiter images prove, once again, what Webb's often-quoted performance is all about. A brief classification. Webb reacts up to 100 times more sensitively to electromagnetic waves than his scientific predecessor, Hubble. In theory, the device would be able to detect the heat of a bumblebee on the lunar surface from Earth. But back to the Jupiter images. To make the images, the aforementioned NIRCAM captured the light reflected from the gas planet using three different filters. Within this framework, it is possible to analyze and image the infrared radiation of different spectra separately. However, since this infrared radiation is invisible to the human eye, the corresponding wave bands were then translated into the visible color spectrum. The image result proves to be so rich in detail that we can even recognize the small satellites, Adrastia and Amalthea, as well as the delicate rings of Jupiter. Since the sparse ring orbits shine millions of times fainter than the planet itself, they are sometimes not visible through conventional telescopes. But that's not all. Even some distant galaxies in the background could be captured by the near cam. Even the most experienced experts were deeply impressed by the revealing images. So now that we've had a look at Jupiter's surroundings, it's time to take a look at the gas giant itself. In the detailed view of the planet, we can see distinct auroras at the North and South Pole regions, shown in reddish colors. The yellow-greenish haze formations above the polar regions are again condensed veil clouds. On the other hand, the lower cloud bands in the web images have a bluish hue. The mysterious Great Red Spot is also clearly visible even if it does not live up to its official name on the corresponding motif. The fact that the oversized storm system appears as a radiantly bright structure is due to its high back radiation. In addition, the brightness also reflects the great height of the object. Furthermore, the image also depicts much smaller storms, which also show up as bright spots. Although experts have studied many of the features captured on image in the past, the James Webb Telescope opens up an entirely new perspective on the familiar features. As a result, scientists hope to one day use such images to decipher the Great Red Spot and understand the auroral regions better than ever. The massive storm object, in particular, has always been accompanied by some big question marks. Stormy Enigma Astronomers of the 17th century already recognized a conspicuously large spot in Jupiter's atmosphere. Whether the observations at that time were of that very great red spot, however, is unclear. What we do know is that the largest storm formation in the solar system has been sweeping over the gas giant since at least 1831. Despite this decades-long history of research, however, the anticyclone, which can reach speeds of up to 423 miles per hour, still embodies a galactic mystery. Consequently, we cannot even say with absolute certainty why the object presents itself in a reddish hue. The corresponding explanations range from phosphorus and sulfur compounds to organic material. Also, its astonishing longevity can be explained only partially. This is favored by the circumstance that Jupiter has no solid surface. A generally accepted theory that fathoms all characteristics of the large red spot simply does not exist. What is certain, however, is that the structure is sometimes subject to drastic fluctuations. In addition to the changing hue and orbital velocity, this also refers to the changes in size. In 2017, for example, the width of the Great Red Spot was given at 10,159 miles, 
In the late 19th century, the value was just under 30,000 miles. In detail, astronomers have been trying to get to the bottom of the stormy mystery for more than 100 years. In 1881, C.W. Ho put forward the so-called raft hypothesis, according to which the structure practically drifts in Jupiter's atmosphere. Following Patrick Irwin's reasoning, there are four conceivable mechanisms that could be driving the storm system. Barotropic shear, in which the density of air depends solely on pressure. Baroclinic shear, which also takes temperature into account. The trapping of smaller storm vortices. And local forcing, as in the form of moist convection. Only time will tell which factors really underlie this exciting mystery. And who knows, perhaps the web images of Jupiter will be instrumental in finally unraveling this great mystery. And now we want your opinion. What do you think about the spectacular Jupiter images from the James Webb Space Telescope? As always, drop us your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on today's video in the comments below. Are you in the mood for more exciting contributions on the topic of outer space? Then take a look at the other videos on our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the images in the credits. Thanks for your interest. Take care, and we'll see you next time.